Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Now come on in. Now come. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know I'm weird. Whatever. Hey, everybody. What's up? It's your girl, Bondi Blue. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Hey, everybody. What's up? It's your girl, Bondi Blue. Okay, follow me on Instagram. And let's get into the video. Come on in. Hey, everybody. We're back. We're back for another Members Only Live, girl. Oh, yes. We got some things to get into. I hope y'all are having a good Thursday. Okay, give it up to me. Okay. I'm happy to see everybody. Shout out to all my members. Shout out to y'all. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Oh, Lord, y'all. Let me tell y'all. <clears throat> Whenever we get into, like, these topics certain topics where, you know, Jonathan Majors, Diddy, Tory Lanez, you know, just uh, a world full of unsafe niggas in a world of unsafe niggas. And everybody wants to argue you down. Everybody wants to gaslight you. Everybody wants to cherry pick what they want to pay attention to in order to fit the narrative that they want. And they love to come in there and nanny boo boo me. I just want everybody to understand before we even get into everything. <clears throat> I don't care about Jonathan Majors. I want to be clear. I don't care. I don't care about Tory Lanez. I simply see them a certain way. You're not going to change my mind on that. Because half of the time, most of you people that are arguing with me have no idea what you're talking about. You say things and I'm like, why, why am I even talking to this person? This person doesn't know half of the shit that's actually taking place. They're just trying to use this one piece of information to fit a narrative for them. For instance, yesterday. Yesterday, somebody was in my comments on YouTube, wrote a whole paragraph about how I am just going along with Kiki Palmer's narrative about her baby daddy because she has the bigger, more popular platform. Now, mind you, y'all are my members, so y'all know. Some of y'all may not. I've been saying that Darius Jackson was abusive ever since he got his ass on the internet. Slut shamed her about what she was wearing. Talking about, you're a mom. <clears throat> Excuse me? What's your point? Moms have, moms have lives. Moms are allowed to be sexy. Moms are al allowed to feel their bodies and, and feel that they look good and be attractive. Like they're, they're allowed to still have all of those same feelings, emotions, experiences, just because they become a mother. Y'all are so weird. You think they're supposed to look and act and dress a certain way. You read that? You read that long comment about Kiki? And I was just like, you know, I wish that people would actually listen to me before they start running their mouths in the comments, making full fucking paragraphs. Because nothing that I've ever said about Darius has anything to do with Kiki's platform. Nothing. Everything that I have pointed out about Darius are things he has said and done. Things Kiki has said and done that look like an abusive relationship to me. Including this here screenshot of whatever physical altercation they got into in her in her house. But y'all are going to ignore that, right? Y'all are going to ignore everything that shows you that this man is abusive to this woman. Y'all are going to ignore all of that because you want so badly to believe that there's some dude that you don't know in the world that's not abusive, as if you don't know that men in this world are what? Abusive. Not even all of the time just because of them. It's because of the way they're socialized to be angry, to be entitled, to want women to suppress themselves so that the men can feel better. Somebody was in the comments to me talking about how Meg shouldn't have wrote the bar about partisan Fontaine because he was going to respond. They're not even paying attention to what was actually said. They're not paying attention to his response. They're not paying attention to the fact that the type of man that would act out in that way is a bitch. It doesn't matter what she did first. He's a bitch because his actions are showing me bitch assness. She wrote a bar. You wrote a whole song. She said you was getting your dick sucked if it was you. 
You said that she was unlovable. You said that she talks about everybody. You said that she got surgery and lied about it. You said that she's a disgusting human being and she's sick in the head. Y'all don't think that's a bit much? You don't think that's sassy? It's just me. It's just me? Okay. Well, this is an update. That person decided they wanted to tell me that I'm just pulling Darius being abusive out of my ass. Yet here we are. Physical altercation with a woman. And Darius says he's repented and gotten baptized following the Kiki Palmer drama, y'all. This is what he said. There's a lot I can say, but not allowed to say. And at this point, don't even want to say. So he ain't saying shit. I will say, however, that God is and will always be our greatest ally. Oh, please tell me about the Lord. <laughs> Please tell me about Jesus. Go ahead so I can further believe that you're full of shit. Because whenever people are trying to clean something up, Jonathan Majors, call on the Lord and a black woman. Come into the courthouse with a black woman and a Bible. They're trying to clean up their mess. They want you to forgive them for a pattern of behavior that they're going to continue to, to do. They're going to continue to be abusive. You're also, that was another thing about this situation before I continue on with this. His whole family is abusive. His brother's abusive. His dad is abusive. They talk to their mama like they fucking crazy. And y'all are online telling me that I'm creating or going along with Kiki's narrative because she's more famous. Not me looking at his, his, his actions. Not me looking at his family dynamic. Not me looking at the screenshots of him body slamming her over the sofa. Not me looking at the, the tweets of him slut shaming her. And doubling down on it and talking about his, well, you know, his morals when he didn't even marry her. If we want to talk about God and morals, that's why that's another reason why y'all work on my motherfucking nerves. Because y'all always want to pull God into something. But where was God when it was it was expected for you to marry a woman before you impregnate her? Where was God then? Because I can't say God wouldn't tell you to abuse your wife because I'm sure there's a <laughs> I'm sure there's a verse in there somewhere that would validate a man putting his hands on his on his woman, on his girlfriend, on his baby mama, because you ain't the wife. Right. But he says God will always be your greatest ally. I have put my trust, patience, timing and entire life onto him so that I can continue to get through the days. Lord Jesus has been with me throughout and has strengthened me to the point where I am continuing to push forward and not looking back. He surrounded me with friends and family that has always been there as well as sending me love from many individuals who have reached out. And for that, I thank you. Because once you've abused your baby mama, that's what you need the most for people to come and support you. Extremely blessed to have repent and be baptized in the name of our Lord Jesus. But the work doesn't stop. There's so much I have to do in order to be fulfilled. Saving myself was the first step. It almost sounds like you're admitting that something was wrong with you and you needed the Lord. But then also you're making it sound as if you just had to remove yourself from this volatile situation, volatile situation being Kiki. Saving myself was the first step. You weren't saving yourself the entire time. When you were tricking Kiki into getting pregnant so that you can constantly have access to her and her and her money and her wealth and her fame so you can ride her coattails. You, you, you wasn't thinking about yourself then, huh? It's very performative. I don't believe it. I'm not feeling it. I think he's exactly who I think he is. And, you know, everybody's entitled to quote Bible verses and think that he's, you know, saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost and a different person because he's invoked the name of your Lord Jesus. Girl, go ahead. I, I, I don't subscribe. I don't believe. Let's press on. OK, I don't believe him at all. <clears throat> all right. Hold up, y'all. Let me see what's, what's next. I want to make sure I'm going in order. I feel like something's missing from up here, but that's okay because I, I know what we're going to next. Let's see. It's another It's another update, right? British Williams. Okay. It's another. We talked about British Williams. We talked about her mm -hmm, yesterday in the public live that I did with everybody. Two and a half hours. Bitch, I was exhausted after that. Okay. <clears throat> Lyric was trying to give me the dick and I was like, I can't. I can't, babe. I can't. 
Hopefully tonight. Okay? I'm praying for the best. Okay, so Lorenzo, British's baby daddy, slow ass, lopsided face ass nigga. I just think he's slow. I think he's one of those goofy basketball players, you know. I think he's slow. Um, Lorenzo Gordon clarifies that British Williams was not doing social security far fraud because he wasn't taking care of her. I took you around the world, bought you cars, purses, trips, and businesses. Dear British Williams, I saw the interview with not, not you saying British, not dear British Williams. Like you don't know who she is. Like you don't have to have private conversations about y'all daughter together. Nigga, why the informalities whenever men try to act as if they're so, you know, a formal with you all of a sudden, that is such an antagonistic bullshit ass ploy to me. Like, give me a fucking break, dude. Like, that's your baby mama. Like, why are you hitting her up with the Brit dear British Williams? Like, well, give me a break. Okay, hold up. I saw the interview with Carlos King. I heard a lot of lies. If you did anything illegal while dating me, I wasn't aware. You a lie. I told the government you were innocent in my eyes. I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware of any criminal activity during the years of us dating. Hold up, let me, let me let me make sure I'm on the right line. I am a man. I can always stand on my truth. I made millions during my career. I didn't retire broke. Gambling was a major problem with our finances. I took you around the world. I brought you cars, purses, trips, businesses, and my career. Hold up, y'all. I hate that it keeps doing that. Why does it keep doing that? I'm sorry. Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, okay. He, he's telling us again because he said it. That's why I was like, am I reading the same thing? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I am a man. I can always stand on my truth. I made millions during my career. I didn't retire broke. Gambling was a major problem with our finances. I took you around the world. I brought you cars, purses, trips, businesses, and my career is how you got on TV. Even on the last season, I filmed for free to help you have a storyline and I had money last year. So I had no reason to do TV, but I will take on the chin that I didn't take care of you two years out of the 10 years as a man. You didn't take care of her for two years out of the 10 years, but she been scamming for 10. Lorenzo took me around the world twice before I was 24. Can't nobody show me shit. I've been doing this shit before Instagram. So go play with somebody more, uh, your speed, little baby. Okay. Um, I just kind of feel like Lorenzo, nobody said that she didn't. Like, I don't believe I didn't watch the whole interview because I don't care to. I don't care to listen to British lie for an hour. But I just kind of feel like, dude, the girl never said that you didn't take care of her. She said there was a point in time where you weren't taking care of her and she had to pay for shit. And you just confirmed that. Don't Y'all, why do men always have to do? Nobody said anything bad about you, Lorenzo. Nobody said that you wasn't paying for shit at one point in time, Lorenzo. But you're going to get your slow, lopsided head ass on the internet to correct the issue that nobody, nobody's disputing, baby. Nobody's disputing that at one point or another for the, for the bulk of y'all relationship when y'all were together that you was financially responsible for her. She said that. But we also know that British is a scammy ass scammer. It's who she is. Until she gets a regular job or a job that actually pays her up front. She's a scammer. And you knew she was a scammer. Him and party should be friends. That's what I was thinking. Hit dogs hollering. Sir, nobody said anything about you. Not taking care of her. Like... You must feel bad about that, huh? You must feel guilty or bad about the fact that she was out here scamming to, to, to sustain a lifestyle that you had made her accustomed to. I mean, it's still on her. British is still stupid. Like, you want to protect your name from the FBI and the federal hood, sir? But we know you knew. You can say whatever you want to say on the internet, but we know you knew. Thank you, Von Day, for being a member for 14 months. Love you, Bondi, and your commentary. I'm sending you something shortly to your PO. Be looking out for it. Okay, thank you, child. I got to make sure my PO box is still up to date. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate you. But just an update. Lorenzo had to come out and let us know that he took care of British. 
regardless of the lies that she's telling on the internet. Okay. All right, y'all, let's go on and move on in, in Caucasity, in Caucasian people's news. Kim and Croy, okay, our favorite trailer park trash, Real Housewives couple, is back in the news again, over and over again. I'm so tired of these people. Now, first of all, I don't know if Kim is pregnant or not, but Kim said that her daughter was pregnant. Then she came out and said that was a lie and she was pregnant. I don't know who's pregnant, but I know that you and Croy have been fucking. And so here we are with Croy Beerman, KKK, screaming at black police officers as if he has no reverence, respect or fear. It doesn't seem like he's he he's not. What, what do they they always want us to do? Why don't you just comply? Why don't you just comply, Croy? Why are you doing the most? Let's go ahead and watch the video. Nonsense. All right, come talk to me. Ma'am, stay right there. What, what's going on tonight? We're just having an argument. About what? About our fucking life. Okay, what what happened? What, why, right, it's why, our why, life. Why? It's destroyed. But, okay, what started the argument? Okay. Her inability to fucking solve problems. Okay. Or address or do anything. Come over here. Why? Because I want to talk to you away from her. I don't want her to start screaming at you and, and have... A whole it's, a, argument. It's, it's nothing but an act. It's all a bunch of bullshit. What? What is? Everything she does. Okay. What does she do tonight? Everything. Everything, dude. I, I can't. I'm not going to do this because this right here does nothing but fuel her bullshit. I'm not doing this. Okay. You're this doing is it though. Narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what going. There's nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Oh. Who there called was, you? Who called you? Your kids. <laughs> the what kids? kid? What kid? You got 50 of them kids in there. You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. <laughs> you got kids. We've been outside what, this whole time. What, 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 what was the argument about? Our life. What, our life. Okay, and it's so fucking why, destroyed. Why, why is it getting so heated? Because our life is destroyed. Why are you so upset? You've been here for the destroying the entire time, Croy. Y'all don't get me wrong. I know there are women out there that ain't shit. And, and Kim, Kim is one of those women for me that absolutely, I have no sympathy for Kim. I don't care about what Kim Karen KKK is over there going through. I don't care. But I'm also looking at this grown ass man as he's been there throughout all of their bad decisions, right there by her side, going back, breaking up, fighting and fucking, doing whatever alcohol and drugs y'all are doing to sustain y'all selves um gambling away money you can't tell me that you haven't been fucking other women during y'all's relationship so i just or other men based on some of the things we've heard out here word on the curb so i'm just kind of looking at him like child white people love and i'm not and not just white people but just you know in this situation white people love to scream and holler at you about how their life has been destroyed as if they did not destroy it Oi! you did it yourself what don't you understand I don't. There's no money. There's no house. She wants. We're, we're getting divorced one day and we're not the next. Okay. She's fucking other men. What do you want? What do you want? Because you can simply leave this situation, Croy. You can divorce her and move the fuck on. But instead, you're outside with a different color hair and beard than we found you with, screaming to the top of your lungs, sweating through a gray t shirt in front of a house. That you say you you no longer have, which we know y'all don't, because y'all finances have been all over TMZ for the past couple of years now. But at the same time, Croy, again, you've been there the whole time, sir, and you screaming at police officers like you're not scared to get shot. Child being white in America. Calm down. Calm down, but I don't have a fucking life. I don't have somebody who won't fucking listen to me. Calm down. Oh, calm down. If he was black, they'd have tased him. Come talk to me. What's going on? <laughs> if he was black, they'd have tased Croy's ass. <sighs> come, come talk to me. This is narcissistic behavior. I'm not doing this. I'm just trying to figure out what going on. There's nothing to do. You shouldn't even be here. Who it called was, you? Your kids. Who? What kid? You have kids? I don't know. Whoever's in the house. 
Yo, we've what, been outside what, this whole time. What? 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 what, what, what? Y'all look at some of these comments. Oh my God, I actually feel so bad for him. Kim took advantage and destroyed him. Because he had, he's not an adult grown man, right? He has no responsibility in how much he knocked her up, how much money he was also spending. Like, no control over the situation whatsoever. Right? It's it's Kim, right? It, it's all Kim and not him? Okay. Kim really ruined him. Child, I guess. And then there's a video. I thought I had saved it, but it's, it must have just been on my Twitter. But there's a video of Kim crying in her car. Um, You know, she's crying heavily. I'm trying to see if it's in here anywhere. I don't see it. But she's crying in her car. And, you know, oh, my God. And he's just, and it's just, and it's worse. And it's, oh, my God. And it's Karen, girl. I don't feel bad for none of these, none of these white people. I don't, I don't. Um, I just think it's hilarious that their trailer park drama continues to, uh, you know, just occur publicly because it is definitely trailer park drama and we just keep having to see it all on our timeline, girl. Yeah. Two weeks ago, she was acting like she was pregnant. So it's like, Y'all doing all of this. Y'all doing all of this. And she pregnant again? Sir, how about you stop fucking her? How about you stop fucking her, Croy? It's a mess. But I just think it's, it's also very crazy how even in the comments, y'all, I know we always want to say, oh, they don't care about black women. But look how they handling this situation. Croy is screaming at the police officers to the top of his goddamn lungs like a cokehead. And y'all are in the comments talking about how y'all feel so bad for him because Kim destroyed him. <laughs> Child, it don't matter. It's the woman's fault. It don't matter, bitch. It is the woman's fault.